Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Omoye Le Showere challenges Bona Boy to join Revolution Now protest. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you are well. Looking after yourself and um, preparing because before you know it, it's um, Christmas and we are saying Happy New Year. The year 2020 is a year like no other. A year where the whole world has gone on a lockdown. To mention but a few, it is time to give a token of kindness, you know, uh, to somebody just around you. You never could tell who you were helping or you're putting a smile on the face. Revolution Now is the acronym given to Omoyele Showere, a young man, a presidential candidate um, in 20. 19 alongside President Muhammad Buhari, Atiku Abubakar, and others who seek to bring revolution into the Nigerian political space and certain, especially with the happenings, you know, over time. Omoyele Showere is in the struggle, you know, alongside Nigerian youth to say enough is enough. We must stand up together as one people. Uh, it's enough for, you know, oppression and underdevelopment. Now we are 60. Where are we in the scheme of things? We are called the giant of Africa. But are we truly the giant of Africa? Are we still the pride of Africa? Or oh, is just a name after all? Uh, Bonoma, Bonaboy, a musician, a well-known musician in Nigeria, one of the, you know, young men who is, you know, uh, shaping the uh, music industry, um, nominated for um, awards and what have you. Omoye Leshe has challenged him because the truth of the matter is for the revolution to become a reality, we need, we need voices of those who are, you know, um, you know, um, celebrity figure to also come alongside. Let's hear what Omoyele Showere has said to Bona Boy. Omoyele Showere challenges Bona Boy to join Revolution Now protest. Nigerian singer Bona Boy has been challenged by Sahara reporter, publisher Omoyele Showere to join the hashtag Revolution Now protest planned for October the 1st. I'll give you a little breakdown. So this um Protests is because of the price of uh, fuel, uh, incompetence in government, uh, pri hike in um, electricity tariff alongside others, okay? The October 1st protest is planned to be held in all 36 states across Nigeria, as well as in London, Sweden, Netherlands, San Francisco, New York, Washington, D.C., Germany, Canada, among others. Omoye Leshoore made a call in a message he shared on social media earlier today. According to the former presidential candidate, many describe Bonner Boy as a revolutionary musician and he has been likened to the late Afrobeat legend Fela Kuti. He wrote on Instagram, I turn people I think it's time for people to turn to the struggle of revolution. And we call on our brother, Bono Boy, who is like the Felakuti of today, to come alongside with us for the protest of revolution now for our great country, Nigeria. So there you have it. Omoyele um, Showere is calling out saying, please come alongside with us. You are like the fella." Fela was a fearless musician that told Nigerian politicians the truth about the state of the country. At some point, he will be put in prison here and there, but he never stopped speaking. He never stopped speaking about the military era, the injustice they were carrying on on uh, you know, Nigerians. To mention but a few, he was really a revolutionary man. You know, Nigerian government, you'd be surprised that they would have planned, you know, police and soldiers along the way. Please, people, uh, just a, note, a word and a note of caution as you go out. Please be security conscious because we know that uh, the B-Boys, they've joined Nigerian army and you would think that you are talking to uh, a real security operative. But these ones have no 
values they've not been taught anything look at what happened and you know they don't have they don't know what is called fundamental human rights and freedom of speech and expression they don't understand it these ones have done so if we must move forward even celebrities must come alongside with nigerians we must all stand together as one we must all stand together as one you see the price of fear everybody will just keep quiet and behave as if it does not affect them if we continue like this we are watch well we are with our open eyes watching this country being driven into a, a dish and nobody is saying anything but if we come together if we come together and say enough is enough you'll be amazed at what we can achieve because the government will know that we are a force to be reckoned with we must stand up as true nigerians as one so give that orphan child the voiceless we must give them voice you know revolution now is one is one is one is one way we can do it where a young man is sacrificing himself to say let us come together nigerians once upon a time we must come out of these shackles that this this kind of you know government has put us in in nigeria october 1st will be 1960 by now Great nations of the world should be coming to us to, us, to, to Nigeria, sending their children here to school. What is our education like today in this country? In shambles, I can tell you. Our education have nothing to write home about. Growing up, my father told me people used to come from, you know, Niger Republic, these other countries around, Af African countries around the world, used to come to Nigeria to learn. But today, when last did you hear that any of them came into the country? Why? where there is strike every day, children can hardly go to school and, you know, make true success of what is going on. So who wants to come to that kind of environment? Our, even our university environment is not an enabling environment for others to come in and say, let us strive, let us make something out of what is going on in this country. There is nothing to write home about. Is it, is it, is it the situation of electricity to mention but a few? It is a shame of what goes on in this country, honestly speaking. It's a shame. And that's why 1960, you know, 2020, Nigeria will be 60. 60, what have we achieved so far? Where are we in the scheme of things? Have we advanced or we are still where we used to be? Are we worse off or we are better off? These are questions we need to ask ourselves. Because the people leading us is like the case of the blind leading the blind, going nowhere. How can we truly advance when they don't even know where they are taking us to? They don't have a clue what should really happen and uh, what is happening. Nigerians, it is time for us to stand up together as one in the call of unity and cry and say, let us move together and make sure that this uh, constant threat that is being imposed on us by a few be stopped. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.